Imagine a breathtaking mountain vista. Little Cottonwood Canyon in Utah's Wasatch Mountains, a glacial masterpiece of steep granite walls embraced by a dense forest of quaking aspen, alpine fir, Douglas fir, and Engelmann spruce. Now visualize an eight-mile gondola suspending 30 cabins from 22 steel matrix towers, each averaging over 200 feet tall, a sight that would forever mar the scenic beauty of this natural wonder. This gondola is proposed as a solution to road closures averaging a mere 12 times a year. A problem, along with occasional powder day congestion, that could be addressed with enhanced busing. Canyon tolling. Reserved ski resort parking and other visitor management tactics. And the gondola cost? An astounding 1.4 billion taxpayer dollars. Annual operating costs would run an additional $7 million. But the price is not just monetary. The construction of the gondola would bring about irreversible damage to the canyon, and to the scenic forest viewscape, tarnishing the experience for all future visitors. Moreover, the project risks contaminating the watershed that supplies water for 37% of the Salt Lake Valley. What was once a serene, untouched paradise would be transformed into a commercialized spectacle, all for a handful of incidents of road closure per year, and for occasional congestion on powder days at a cost of $1.4 billion. So we must ask ourselves, is it worth it? Absolutely not, especially as you consider that not only does this plan destroy one of Utah's crown jewels, it deprives Kane, Utah, Washington, Davis, Weber, Salt Lake and other counties' financial resources for their unfunded but more deserving transportation and infrastructure projects. There are less expensive and more effective ways to address Little Cottonwood Canyon traffic issues, and we should pursue those. Tell your legislators that the $1.4 billion would be better spent on other unfunded but more deserving local and regional infrastructure projects.